He will be the first second gentleman of the United States of America. And he is very excited about it. I'm just so honored and humbled to be the first second gentleman of the United States. Doc Emhoff, de man van vicepresident Kamala Harris, is trots om de eerste second gentleman van de Verenigde Staten te zijn. Wie is hij en wat kunnen we van hem verwachten in die rol? Aan de hand van interviews schetsen we een beeld. Now I'm just like her, just fighting each and every day for justice and equality and fairness. Amhoff en Harris leerden elkaar in 2013 kennen tijdens een blind date. I was a little nervous. She was wearing this brown leather jacket, jeans and her now famous chucks. It was love at first sight. It really was. In een onlangs verschenen interview met het stel onthulde Harris iets nieuws over die blind date. You totally googled him, didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, this is a reveal. <laughs> I've never been asked that. Ooh. I did. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, that's so funny you asked me that question. So yes, my best friend set us up on a blind date and she said, just trust me, just trust me. Just just don't even, you know, she wanted me to just kind of go into it and she said, don't Google him. I did. <laughs> Eén jaar na hun eerste date trouwden ze. I got down on one knee, she looked at me and just started bawling. I said, I need an answer. <laughs> she said, yes! <laughs> Doug has been a prince. He has been so supportive. I love my husband. Hij heeft twee kinderen uit zijn eerste huwelijk, Cole en Ella. Ze hebben een hekel aan het woord stiefmoeder en noemen Kamala liefkozend Mamela. And I've had a lot of titles over my career. And certainly, vice president will be great. But Mamala will always be the one that means the most. Zijn kinderen kregen we te zien in een gepubliceerde Zoom meeting. Is dad still in hair and makeup, Brandon? <laughs> I heard everything you were saying about Nicole. We heard the whole thing. Uh oh, I have to go. <laughs> Ella, turn the light back on. I didn't turn it off. No, turn it back on. De 56-jarige Doug Emhoff is advocaat, maar heeft zijn praktijk nu verlaten en is samen met zijn vrouw naar Washington verhuisd. Hij gaat daar parttime lesgeven aan rechtenstudenten van de Georgetown University. Hij is zich bewust van zijn historische rol en voelt zich verantwoordelijk. Ik understand I am the first, you know, gentleman to hold this role and I certainly do not want to be the last. So I do want to set an example for those in the future who can look back at the way I've approached it and hopefully that will help them as well. Hij is vast besloten om er wat van te maken. I'm going to do everything I can to help Joe and Kamala lead us. I meet a lot of electeds, a lot of people running for office, a lot of women running for office, and I love it because I want more women in office. <laughs>